Hello. Hello. Alrighty. What's going on with live split? It's broke. Live split machine broke. No. Alrighty. So, welcome to the small only uh, tutorial stream for the tournament. If you're thinking about entering, this is a really good time uh, just to sit down and learn the category. Uh, trust me, it's definitely not as daunting and as terribly difficult as it looks. So, uh, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah. We're gonna start with the uh, DP1. We're not gonna do anything in Iggy. I trust most people here probably already know World 1, or could probably just learn it by themselves, honestly. So, good luck with that. But if not... Please make it 75. So Come DP1, on, right? you can- there's so many different ways you can go through this level. This is the way I go through it. If you're grabbing the shell, the easiest way is to just move left a little bit. Fair enough. So, if Walk. you guys, uh, don't feel comfortable with doing any shell jumps, definitely do not worry about it. There's Donut Planes too, and it only- shell jump only saves around 40 seconds. And I believe, as Rezzy said earlier, you can get top 10 without it. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, you miss shell jump, you just keep going. You can just skip shell jump entirely. There's really not much to talk about in this level, it's just platforming. Really, there's many ways you can do it, except that's not one of them. Don't spin jump off of that. <laughs> Don't oh. die! It's over! Yeah. Try not to die. Dude, this is the greatest <laughs> DP1 ever. Come on, Rezzy. Oh my god! Then listen with your left ear, sniper. I'm not just kidding. How all is right, it all way too quiet? My audio should be a little better. <clears throat> you can also do a full jump here and jump in front of that guy. I prefer to bounce off the uh, the flying Koopa. I find it safer and nicer. Yeah, uh, especially if you're going for shell jump, uh, avoiding as many uh, like close quarters like with yeah, enemies yeah. as possible because you don't want to uh, kill the shell or else you have to do the auto scroller. There are no required shell jumps. There's this only this one is just optional. It saves 35 seconds. Yoshi is not allowed. No, Yoshi can not also allowed. bounce off of that guy, but then it's a luck jump. So yeah. If anyone has any questions about this level, I'm kind of just running through it as many different ways as I possibly can, but whenever I do it the way I don't normally do it, it's kind of causing problems. But yeah, if anyone has any questions, just let me know. Yep. And we'll move on to DS1, which also doesn't have much to say about it. It's kind of just learning the level and getting the hang of it. Your shell jump's impossible. Did you respawn a Super Koopa? Uh, you can do the old Jim's friend strat. I can maybe show it here. It's luck based and pretty terrible, but it works, and it's what Jim's friend did in his small only PV ten years ago. <laughs> Way back when. Pretty sure he did it in his PV. It's probably like it might be eleven years now. I don't remember when the anniversary race was. And in my opinion, uh, Shell Jump would be more consistent with that. So if you have any available time uh, to learn Shell Jumps, Rezzy and Drem have some really good tutorials out there on YouTube that they, uh, that they can show. And uh, they're both very useful. So definitely consider checking those out if you want to learn that. Yeah, this strat is hella luck-based. Yes, it's, it's very brutal. <laughs> I've tried it a couple times, and I've never gotten it before, so, in my opinion, Shell Jump is the way to go, if you can learn yeah. it. I'm not even <laughs> sure if I've ever gotten it before, but I'm also not even sure if I've ever really tried. Well, see, I had it there, but I didn't go left enough. That's the gist, though. It's kinda, kinda poopy. <laughs> I'd pass on that. Easier with P-Speed? Can you get B-speed with that? 
I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. You could kind of jump back and forth. Alright, so, uh, Donut Planes Wait. 2 is just a simple auto-scroller, and there's not much to say about that. Uh, Donut Secret 1... No. We're gonna, we're gonna learn the buzzy jump here. This isn't Donut Planes 2. Bear with me. Okay, so it's required to get at least one dupe here, or you have to reset. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Yoshi's Island 4 shell jump, you have to get it. It's actually years. required. Yeah, it's required. Basically, you just don't screw around so much that you die. Yeah, this is the level you'll be doing if you can't do shell jump. A little nice swag to do here is uh, down dupe, if you can figure it out. Except the guy's gonna wake up and too early. Basically, if you throw him with momentum against the block when it's even with the sandbar, it'll dupe it downwards. So for this buzzy, you just want to stay on the very left and jump like just right when he's about to spawn. You want to hit him uh, as soon as you possibly can. Just a note, uh, it is also required to put that buzzy in the sandbar. Bruh. All right. So once he wakes up again, you're going to want to hit him like right away. Just again. We'll go through it again, I'll explain it more. So just let him sit here, he'll wake up. Hit him right away, throw him in the air, and then catch the shell on its way down. You have to do that to like, get the right sub-pixel whatevers. Yeah. You're gonna just sit against the sandbar when it starts wiggling, you run right. You just do a full jump, you'll always get into the pipe. Yeah. You'll, you'll get like a 317 normally, because you have to hit him like really early right here to get a 318. So 317 is probably what you'll see. Yeah, and it's generally the it is the same mechanic uh, with VD one as well. Yep. So if you know VD one, this shouldn't be too hard. This really is just like a free time save. If you're not doing shell jump or just if you miss shell jump, I would not advise going that close to the football. It, sa it, lose it saves like 35 seconds slice, and pretty much any other death in the run would either be like half that or all of that. So like, just in a race or run setting, you could still get like a sub-15-30, even with you if you miss it. Or if you miss it, you'd get around a 15-30. But if you got it and you died like twice, that could be a 16. It really isn't required. It's required for like sub 14, obviously, or 15, obviously, but like for a good time, it's not required. DS1? Yeah, DS1. Going in order is hard, man. So then you get Shell Jump. You're just gonna swim through this level. If you don't know, when you hold down in water levels, you'll swim at like a more manageable pace, I guess. If you wanna call it that. Otherwise, you're like bouncing up and down like this. It's kinda just however you wanna swim through here and that doesn't kill you. And right here, I actually fall here and then do like a small bounce over him and then bounce into this corner. So I'll like this. Just however I can bounce into that corner, it'll get me right past that fish smoothly. Bear in mind that uh, uh, since we don't have capes, uh, or any power-up for that matter, going in the pipe is actually a lot slower. And even though it might seem faster because you're in a dry room instead of a water room, uh, most of the time is wasted between pipe transitions, so it's just faster to swim through. Once the item box is about like right there past the rocks in the tile, you're going to want to hit down right here. Just like tap it, and that'll get you lined up nicely back here. Do two throws or just a, a left right whatever you want to do whatever is easier for you getting through there without losing the uh, block is kind of just feel as well you can also just do this get over them still get to 41 if you do the throws really nicely you'll get a 42 it can be kind of annoying and sometimes you'll just destroy yourself on the rip band fish. 
and I find it's easier to get if you, like, let go of, uh, right and just do the throws without any input. There, you see I bonked and just died. I like the drum roll, drum roll we have going here. Thanks, game. Why do you need a title fight, though? Why do you need a challenge link? There you go. Yeah, that's about it for Donut Seeker 1, really. If anyone has any questions on a level you've already done, just go ahead and ask. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, Donut yeah. Ghost House, there's not much going on either. First room is nothing. The thing that you would probably just want to... Just a little time yeah. save. Uh, just getting P-Speed before that first boo that you're going to be bouncing on will save you a little bit of time other than having to walk past him and jump around him. Uh, if you don't get that... Or if you don't know that already, uh, there's just the uh, uh, intended strat, which is go through the door twice. And no one wants to do that. So basically, just getting peace speed uh, right there will save uh, some time. You're gonna want to yeah. run for as long as you can without getting hit. If that if doesn't you, work, you can just go around. If you spin jump off like this second stair here that I'm kind of standing on, and then just spin jump right after you land, that'll pretty much get you peace speed every time. You can optimize this a little bit by double tapping jump onto the boo, but then sometimes that'll happen. So really just get P-Speed, do a full jump onto the boo, and just, just hold jump the entire time. Anything else is just like frames and, and screw you over completely. Yep, so that will result in a 280 for what, for your final time. There is a way to get an 83 door, but it's basically pass only. You could do it, but you've got a. I think you have to neutral jump somewhere. It's something like this. Yeah. <laughs> quite remember it. But it's neutral jumping up the stairs, and then you enter the door when it's off screen. See, I had it there, but I missed the door because it's off screen. It's impossible. Yeah. That's why it's that's why it's a task. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, that's probably like the easiest level in the run besides like anything in Yoshi's Island really. Now Donut Plains 3 is probably where most people stop states that stop no cape categories. Yep. Probably the most so. reset heavy area of the run. I'll start from uh, fastest to slowest strat. Yep. When you're doing the fastest, you might want to uh, start by doing the cloud strat. And if you miss the luck jump onto the clouds, then just go with the other strat. Really doesn't matter. You might lose like a couple frames from this uh, right here when you lose P-Speed. So you might not get a 62. But I'm pretty sure it's like less than a full in-game second, so it really wouldn't matter which one you do. That one seems to be a bit safer, because the other one requires like what could be like a 2-3 to three frame jump. And you see there I got a 62 with it, so... You definitely want to slow mostly. down uh, for a few frames on that on-off block. If you, uh, It just gives the platform a little bit of time to get a little bit higher, so that way jumping onto that on-off switch, is, uh, you get a little bit uh, easier time. So now what Resi's doing is cloudless, which is a bit more uh, consistent, but uh, just making sure that you get on uh, to that platform and jumping at the right time to hit the on-off block uh, is very important. So it can be kind of inconsistent, uh, but once you learn it, it shouldn't be too bad. I think, Cal I think that's what Calco does. <laughs> so what I do off the on-off switch is I just press every single button on the controller. <laughs> like the face buttons. Like I'm right here, you see I'm holding Y and B. And when I land on it, I just press X and A as well. And it'll... I, I just feel like it's easiest for me. Because it's just one tile, you know? You really gotta jump late off that platform, but not too late. Because I think if you jump too... We have a suspicion lately that if you jump too late, you'll actually just miss the platform. If you have like a bad sub-pixel. I let go of jump button there, so that wasn't it, but yeah, you get the idea. That's what it would look like. 
I prefer bouncing off the buzzy because if you got like a really bad normal jump off the switch, you could just nail into the buzzy and die. And that's a stupid way to die. Yeah, Xander. <laughs> I think Calco does a different route through the uh, platforms at the end of the level, but I haven't been quite up to date on what he does, so... Yep. This is what most of the videos I've seen and what Dram did, so I don't know. I don't think he runs off a platform somewhere. Aside from Dram. jumping on the on-off block, it's mostly your preference on where you want to run, as long as you just don't die. Yeah. If you're just learning, optimizing with the platforms probably isn't that big of a deal. But, yeah. not gonna lie, Basically. it is pretty easy. Just, just like the easiest route through it anyways. Yeah. And then if you don't feel too comfortable with that, sometimes what I'll do, I'll just do the beginning fast and I'll skip the part with the on-off block and I'll just do the end fast, so it's kind of like fast casual. Uh, so, uh, it still saves time over just doing it casually, uh, but it's, uh, it's still... Uh, is not as fast as the uh, cloud or cloudless strats, but if you're so, just learning, it's definitely useful. If you'd like to skip that small frame window jump and you wouldn't want to go for a luck jump, there's this option where you want to hold, you want to press jump at the end of the platform, let go of it, and then hold it again. If you look at the input display in the corner, because otherwise you're like not gonna get over here. Yeah, you're either gonna land on the mushroom you're platform, gonna die. or you're just gonna fall to death. So if you just double tap jump here, and get up, and use the bind, get up here, and then just do the rest of it normally. Also, my cue to spin jump off here is this line in between these clouds and under these coins. If you do full spin jump right here, you'll always make it onto the switch. Right there. Yeah, that's the most important part. If you just get on the platform, you're at the platform. Uh, the moving platform will be too low, so you can't get onto the uh, other on-off block. The end of the level is exactly the same because you're still scrolled. You'll get about a 58. You might be able to get a 59. I don't know though. I've gotten a 58. I don't think I've gotten a 59. Oh. Then honestly, there's always this where you can just not do the level fast at all and just sit through it and lose like 10 seconds or something. You can learn the beginning strat, it's not hard. Go through here, do whatever. And you can just hang out here for a bit and just do it casually. You really, really don't want to learn the level. <laughs> Got many options and this is one of them. You really want it. Not sure if you can even get P-Speed there, since you can't grab the midway, so that's another downside. Don't mind I died, but you get the point. You can do the ca you can do the casual strat if you really want to. It's an option. Alright, so Donut Plains 4. Um... First I option, guess... you could skip the shell. And you can do just everything slow. Just get the shell. You don't even have to hit the hammer bro there. You can just run up the hill and you won't get hit. So here I'll just so go ahead and show Underbro. That. Yep. Underbro is the fastest uh, strat. And uh, that's a, I believe that's a three frame jump that Rezzy just did there. Yeah, it can be so kind three or two depending on like every factor I think. Not too bad with practice, but every now and then you'll bonk or something. Yeah. So if you don't want to do that, you could uh, do a short left right on that other on the platform that you walk on before you jump under the bro. And um, you could still keep P speed, and it's just a little bit safer, especially if you're in a tournament. That'll lose like three in-game seconds to an optimal strat. Oh. So now more options for the beginning of the level. You can take the shell here. And you can go through the bro. It's a pretty easy jump. Miss missing this shell happens every now and then for me. Or, 
can throw it upwards. You don't have to jump and throw it. There's like a little cue you can use with like the bush or something to throw it up. Throwing it upwards is easier when you're jumping though. So here's another strat you can do is jump at the end of the platform and throw it like pretty much right away. That's the reason I don't do it is because I often just throw it upwards. For whatever reason, I can't make myself pay attention to what buttons I'm holding at this point in the level. This strat's pretty free as well. It's the old DP4 strat before we even considered Underbro. Or maybe Dram just didn't want to do Underbro. This is what he <laughs> used in World Record. Yeah, it's, it's really easy. And then at the end, if you pause for a short duration, uh, you could do a little uh, spin jump at the end. And that will uh, ensure that the hammer bro is uh, high enough up, so that way if Mario spin jumps under him, he'll make it under him every time. You can do a full spin jump, or you can do like a double tap like you learned in the last level. It's really whatever. I guess if you really wanted to, you might be able to scroll right. Maybe not. Maybe you just get nailed. <laughs> Don't get you nailed. scrolled right do earlier that. than that. I don't know. Now you throw yeah, the hammers right into your face. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty easy jump. Yeah. With this strat, with the shell strat, you'll get a 59. And with the uh, underbro strat, you'll get a 60. It's a pretty minimal difference, though. Yep. Not sure if it's actually a full in-game second or like two-thirds of a second when in real time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much every strat in that level. Make sure... Yeah. Nope. So, Morton's Castle, uh, it's fairly easy. Uh, you just want to climb it as fast as you possibly can. Oh. And that's basically all there is to it. Right, right at the beginning, if you oh. don't, like, do the slightest left tap, you'll hit the guy. Oh. Like, you see how slightly I just hit left on the top oh. there? Like, it's probably just one frame oh. of left input that you need to do to get under this guy. Oh. If you really, really wanted to be safe, you could do, like, an invisible left-right. But you really only need, like, one frame. Oh. Plus, you then you're giving right up an in-game second. Level if you want. Yeah. Doing that, uh, optimally, you'll get a 394 in the door. And the thing about these stairs is you don't want to spin jump on them, or yeah. it'll <laughs> slip through the stairs. You can't get it anymore. It's rip. You, you can't, can't die into these stairs. Yeah, you can't why die won't the game break? I'm pissed. See, so yeah, I just normal jump up these stairs. Yeah, you can go up at the top of the stairs, or anywhere in the stairs, really. So that what that's what happens there. If you don't wait in this corner long enough, you'll just not. Oh, whoops. I ripped the save state, dude. Oh. It's gone. <laughs> no. So, for the second room, uh, there are two ways uh, that people would go about doing this. Uh, you always do the beginning uh, roughly the same. Uh, you could jump under the fireball, and then if you're really, if you're a brave soul, you could jump over the thwomp. Uh, but just make sure that you're jumping high enough or else you'll, or, uh, or else you'll uh, die. You could spin jump on top of the thwomp as well, if you want to be more consistent. Really any of these work, I find them all pretty much the same difficulty, besides like just the casual strand, you know, but... Yep. Here, if you wanted to, you could do something like this. Well, maybe he'll just hit the fireball. Just wait for all the thwomps. Jump around this guy. Lose a little bit of time. But honestly, with a bit of practice, the strat shouldn't be too hard for you. Yep. Going in the lava is a good meme. Mm -hmm. 87 is best for that door, but you might get an 86 a lot, and I'm pretty sure it's like less than half an in-game second and makes such a little difference. Yep. So, room 3 is easy. Just climb up, don't get crushed, and most importantly, don't die at the top. Man, also, I even you got have the to get the wall jump. jump at the beginning. There you go. You got it. I even got it, and then I save stated, and I'm mad. Yeah. Going slow is always an option, Xander. It's there. It's an option that's there. Yeah, it's always there. Yeah. So basically, the way the wall jump works is if you slide for like two frames, uh, you can jump on the wall. 
you're gonna want to be going through this part of Morton basically exactly how I did and not fast at all, or else you're gonna spawn that dry bones completely incorrectly, and you're not gonna be able to bounce up here. Okay, and I just got three one-frame jumps in a row and ruined everything, so that's cool. Wow. That's a good meme. Why'd you have to be good? Angry. Angry. Being good at this game. Just to explain it, you can just wait here until this platform comes all the way out. Sit here, wait till you can jump up. Jump up. Don't get any one frame jumps at that part or you're screwed. <laughs> Yo, I died. Congrats, me. I see other people jump up those stairs differently. But I can't think of how. I guess I'll save state up there and figure it out. But I think, I think that's I'm just fine. whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Again, wait and jump onto the second one first, which is fine, I guess. Or you can just jump on all three. The thing about these dry bones here is that if you do a, a wide jump off the cement block here, the guys up here will spawn like that over there. So you're gonna wanna do that, in my opinion. So you don't even have to, like, think about dodging them. See, I, I say you should, and then I don't do it, but whatever. Yeah. So just a wide jump to like that. <laughs> <clears throat> so here, you want to do a jump with slight momentum, so you'll land onto this pillar. Then you can do a jump, and like, jump, and let go of the spring at like the same time. And it'll always land here. are knocking on my door. Yeah, just jumping off this third one and dropping it at the same time will pretty much always get you a result that you want. Yep. Uh, one thing that can happen, it, I'm pretty sure it's fairly rare if you know what you're doing, uh, but just make sure uh, that you be careful where you put your spring because uh, if your spring, like, kind of winds up half in the wall, it could bring Mario with him, and it'll clip him into the wall. I've seen that happen a lot. I don't think you can with this strat. Like, I've gone all the way into a block with this strat, and it doesn't kill me. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, Morton kill is fairly easy. Um, just making sure that, uh, you don't jump too early. So to get the fastest hits that you can, you're going to want to jump so that way uh, he goes into his phase where you can hit him uh, just before... Yeah, you just want to jump so you can hit him as soon as you possibly can. Don't, uh, jumping too early can result in you just dying, so you don't want to... No one wants to do that. Howdy, Smartball. Yeah, that's all the wets. World 2. If you've got any more questions on World 2, let me know. VD1. There's a lot of strats here. Yep. I'm just gonna go through all of them at once and not explain anything real quick. Yep. So you can just see all the options. Okay, don't so if you want to get there. P speed at the beginning, just do a short left, right. Otherwise, it's a one frame oh. jump. So, uh, basically. What Rezzy is going to be doing here is getting this Buzzy through the hallway as fast as possible so that way he can spawn it, or so that way it uh, becomes active at the right time so he can jump up to the mind block. There are easier strats than this, but uh, it's Thinking definitely the fastest. <laughs> that one failed epically. <laughs> There's that. That's probably, in my opinion, I like that one most. I don't know. Yeah, There's another one that's like equally as good and probably has like less effort to it and I discovered accidentally the other day. There are Ooh. um if you can make sure that you don't go through the hallway with all the buzzies because uh especially if you uh just kind of like duck into the buzzies and drop the shell right before them uh it's kind of luck. Uh, the second buzzy is luck based so we, you, uh, you want to avoid luck-based factors in this category as much as possible. See, I found this strat the other day by accident, and some people seem to like it. I'm not too much of a fan. It seems too weird to me. 
and unpredictable. Or at least I haven't put much effort into making it predictable. <laughs> and I'm not even sure if it's luck or not. It might be luck. It seems to be subpixel dependent on the very last Buzzy as well. Like jumping onto him, sometimes you'll lose it. So I'm iffy on this strat. If you want a 100% strat based on, like, like, uh, what's it called? Complete execution. Skill. Execution, skill, whatever. Then the block strat is what you want to do. Then there's the super old sub-pixel based strat that can kill you or just ruin the strat entirely. <laughs> yeah, so going Rocket. into all three of those, or going into two of those buzzies, the second one is luck based. This is like the easiest one possible, but you might die and you might not even get it, so... Feel free to do what you wish. Yeah, so another strat alternatively to that is you're just getting into low percent and you really have no idea what's going on. Uh, you could take that first shell and just kick it all the way down the hallway. And what that will do, uh, it'll clear that hallway so you can get through it faster. And you could take that first buzzy and uh, kick it up and still get the jump. Um, so I'll explain this one a little bit. So when you hit the vine, after you hit the vine, at some point, if you don't catch it midair at any point, you'll want to throw it up and catch it midair there. But once you catch it midair, you want to sit at the end here. And then right when it starts wiggling, you just run to the left and jump at the end. Yeah. I've seen I'm not it sure to... what you're saying doesn't seem consistent, Furious. I've explained whatever is not consistent and what is, so... Yeah. So, yeah, do a full-length jump, and then at very last second, you could do what Rezzy's doing and just kind of mashing left and right, so that way he can get up there. Uh, or you could just do a full uh, jump to the left and then do a last-minute right. And that seems to get me up there most of the time. I'm not sure if the wiggle even matters. I just see Lambie and Tram do it. I have no idea if it's for swag or if it means anything. <laughs> I just I just do it because I watch it. It's easy. Always it go once. for swag. Keep that in mind. That's the yeah. whole point of wiggle. Yeah, that's like the easiest strat. It is just a one small timing thing. You could do it in five minutes. I've been told by a ton of people it's like way easier than they thought it would. Yep, so Vanilla Secret 1 is uh, also fairly easy if you do uh, the easier strats. So, uh, there two are options faster for climbing up. You can shell jump up here. Sorry, right, hiccup. up. So you can shell jump up here. Oh, I keep doing it by habit. You can skip the Koopa. Yeah, I said it seems inconsistent as well, Furious. Seems meh on like three different parts. So instead of shell jump, you can bounce off the guy and just do the vine. It's like almost the same speed. You might lose like a mini game second or so. Yep, so there's two strats here. One of them is just dropping the, str the spring under Mario's feet, which as you just did. And then there's also another one where you could bounce on the uh, green bean block. And totally do this. Uh, pick up the spring. <laughs> if you wanted to do that, you could do that. And yeah, there's more than two strats that I have to go over here. You've got a bunch of ending strats here. You've got so many options. First, you've got the classic neutral jumps, spring jump. You can get this pretty easily with a little bit of practice. You want to jump and pretty much roll to left, like all at once. The later you drop the spring, probably the easier it gets. I dropped that one really early, you saw. And you might not want to do a full jump, or you'll just slam your face into the ceiling and then fall down. Yep. It's really just getting a feel for it. I can't really describe any cues or anything, because it usually just ends up different every time. Yeah, so if you don't want to do that does this strat that I can hardly get, but he insists it's easier. <laughs> I've tried to get it and I can't get it, so Seathorn is a crazy man. What can I say? He runs to Kumi 5, which requires one of these, so he probably has just practiced it more than everyone else. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Yeah. That's how I, yeah. 
Yeah, so you if you like don't want to do that, that's... and do right right away and let go of the thing to bounce off of it. It's wacky. Like that. Yeah. So if you don't feel like doing that, then there's always the strat that you could use when uh, you jump off of the green bean block and you kick up the spring uh, at the right time so, uh, so that Mario bounces off of it. No, I don't know. I don't know if Ben is here, Red Hawk. So if you throw up the spring, like right now, on the green bean down position, and then bounce right after, not at the same time, but like a bit after, we'll get a little good setup here to get up here. Or we can do like the first strat I pretty much ever created in this game, is uh, do small bounce off the green bean, toss the spring while you're inside the little blue outlines, and then you'll just easily bounce off of it midair. Bounce through, and you like double tap there. Don't pick it up. Stop holding run, you dummy. Make sure that you uh, end up a little bit like towards the middle or the left of the spring. If you're or to the right of the spring, if you're farther left on the spring, you're just gonna run into the wall. Yeah, this strat's pretty easy. It's what I did like a couple years ago or something. Yeah. It saves maybe. Or the it wastes maybe like a few in-game seconds over the faster it's stats. It's probably the slowest one. Yeah. Probably anything doing with the shell is the slowest. I think that's pretty much every strat in here I could think of. Or you could do something stupid with P speed and then shell jump off the thing. <laughs> Don't do we're gonna be the... here all night if you try it. <laughs> Well, no, it's like easy, it's just stupid and then unnecessary when you've got so many spring options. Yeah. Like that. It's basically, yeah, it's like, it's not really in the hands of the player much. No, it's kind of like speed the based. No, the no oh, speed yeah, jump. that one. The, the, yeah. What the I no P speed, speed shell jump is dumb. That's oh. the one, yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, that was the one I was talking about. <laughs> Star World 2, you just swim through it. Shouldn't have any issues. I usually do... I usually start with like three small swims while holding down, and then do a big swim inside of the egg. So I don't die on the dude. Like that. So you could either just grab Yoshi and slow down and eat that guy and be safe about it, and you might get hit by that guy. I've done that before. Yeah. If you don't want to really, do that, you, you can kick up the boost. Yoshi. Yeah, you, yeah, you can kick up well. the baby Yoshi. You just want to stay relatively low, whatever. I stay on screen usually, then just go down at that group of four. It's my cue here. So try to pause at it. Not there. Oh, then pause buffer got me. Okay, no, a little bit after that. <laughs> here. There's a little mountain in the back here. here. I'll turn my mouse on, an OBS, and you can see it. Yeah. There's also hey, a little pink fish in the background. OBS has a new default button, and it drives me nuts. Yeah, here. <laughs> okay, rip. the mouse doesn't work. Dude, rip. Capture cursor doesn't work with this program. Oh, there it is. There's this little mountain here. There's this one that I'm looking at. This third pillar. I go, I tap down, like right in between this one, then I always get it. Yeah. There's also a little pink fish above Mario in the uh, inside of the wall. You can use that too. You're really bonk. Yeah, people have, like, all kinds of keys, but I like this one. Halfway through the little pillar. Apparently it's really good, and I'm super consistent at it. But don't worry about it. <laughs> it only saves a couple frames. Then at the end here, if you want to be cool and get a 61 like a cool person, don't hit anything after you grab the key. Like, don't hit down or anything. Get a 61. Star World 2 is very easy. Low percent or not low percent. Star World 3, um... I'll let Resi explain this one. 
There's not really much to explain, but... Uh, just make sure that you throw up the throw block at kind of a diagonal-ish angle, so that way it hits the, uh, the Lakitu, so that way you can jump in his cloud. If Lakitu is too high, which shouldn't happen, but if Lakitu is too high, you won't be able to jump in the cloud, and then you'll just be stuck and you'll have to kill yourself. Based on the global timer, you might get destroyed in this seat just like that. So, I don't have much of a backup strat. But a good one is to just wait a little bit before you get in the cloud and throw that block up first, I found. Seems yeah. like we got a safe state, which gets it every time, maybe. So that's pretty nice. We can just grab the block again. Lambie yeah. has a video with, I think, a better backup strat that I just don't know. But I've done this backup strat, like, accidentally, like, three times in the past week. So once you get up there, uh, it saves a little bit of time. You can just throw the block at the question mark block and it'll release the key at a time where it'll run out of invincibility frame, or well, it'll run out of uh, inactive frames before uh, as soon as you get it. So you can pick it up faster. So you can use like any of like the first three throw blocks to hit this guy. It's really just whatever. I use the second one and do a one frame jump off the second one. Or the third one, sorry. They could do that also with the uh, third and fourth, but not the fifth. That'll not work. I just opt for this one though. You don't have to do the one frame jump, it saves a bit of time. Pretty sure dropping the key into the keyhole is actually faster, and I've heard that from task people before, so I just do it anyways. Puzzle looks kind of cool. I know right. a lot about this game. <laughs> so, the run killer, Star World 4, there are a lot of strats for this too. One of them, uh, the most commonly used one, is the most consistent one that you'll find, and what you'll see a lot of the top runners using. C uses it, Dram uses it. Uh, the real only people who ever use it are Kalko and uh, I believe Pog. I don't know. So, um,. You can take this level in two ways. You can go fast casual, or you can go, uh, you can just do full on speed strats. Nice fall, Resi. There's a ton of routes you could do through level. I like this one. It has some rhythmic jumping that I just like. I want to jump onto the center platform of that, but if you don't, it's fine. You just lose a bit of speed. I'm gonna go wide on the shell there, so it actually gets enough speed to go down. And then again with this. Yeah. Uh, if see. you want to be able to listen to the game audio, because the uh, you need to be able to hear the key activate, so that way you can always get down there and not get down there disappointed because you don't have a key. We saw that time the shell despawned, which is why I'm gonna do another strat that I'll explain. I don't do this strat, which is why I, for some reason, suck at it. Though, in theory, it should be the exact same as the other one. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. Video games. I didn't fun. even hit the block. Oh, I didn't save state. Whatever. <laughs> this is a thing that sucks, and I don't know if it's speed-based, like if you throw it at 49, or if it's you throw it too late, or if it's both. But I feel like... It's both, because sometimes I throw it hella early, and it still goes over here, and it ruins the run. So, it won't ruin the run at, like, unless you're sub going for sub-15 or anything. So, otherwise, it's fine. But, I don't know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure... You kick that shell. Oh, God, like, you, you saw there, I threw, like, an entire tile late, and it still goes down. So, I'm, yeah. I'm positive it's speed-based. If you throw it on like sure the last tile, it'll go over, but it has to be speed based. Make sure that you don't cut off, or make sure that you don't uh, kick the shell on the first frame, or else it'll be traveling at the same speed, speed as Mario and it'll kill you. I've actually lost a couple runs to that. It doesn't look like P speed. Because I already have P speed here, like I have 48 speed when I'm throwing it. don't want the shell to despawn at all, you can bounce off the Paracoupa. It'll never despawn the shell. I have tasser evidence of this. <laughs> it's a 
here. I jump to about here. You see here, we'll turn on the cursor again. Cursor's trash. Quit switching the life split, you stupid OBS. OBS is fun. So there's this star here. I go a little bit above that. You see Mario's like tiny bit above it. And here's pretty much right where I'm going to start holding left. Walk, didn't you ask this like three times in the Discord? Bruh. Um, but, uh, it makes it so the shell won't despawn. Like, yeah. when you're down here, the shell will always appear once you do the strat, if you do the Paracoupa bounce. Otherwise, it might be Gonzo. We have a Wild Furious in the tournament. What's the shell doing? He hates me. So you'll want to just like play around with this and learn if you like mess up your jump height when you want to like hold jump or not hold jump. What I find is that if you do a full jump then scroll and then hold left the whole time you don't hold jump. So here, full jump, scroll, hold left and run and you should always get it. Not too bad with some practice. It's free, my dudes, except for when you miss it. Just keep that in mind. Make sure that you activate the key block first. <laughs> just keep that in mind. Yeah, I was just... Didn't want to do another save state. Yeah. And if you're really feeling like it, you can learn the fast strat. I like grabbing this shell. There's other shells you can grab, but this is the easiest one. You lose P speed and the paracube is in the wrong place. Uh, you can always go back to that first platform and then just run back always... and forth on it till you gain P speed. Yeah, here. So, if you lose P speed, you want to do this and jump off the side, and then you should get it in one or two tries. Spin jump off the side. Spin jump off. You know, you can get it first try, apparently. Yeah. I've never had the Paracoupa be in a bad spot, so I'm not quite and sure what to say about that. That's what you're gonna wanna do if you do, uh, if you don't know the fast strats for Star Worlds 4. Once you get to that point, you're just gonna wanna run back and forth until you get P speed. And then that's how you can execute that jump correctly. Because you need so the P speed for it. Double shell strat here is poopy. There's so many ways you can go wrong. <laughs> really yeah, not a hurt. great strat for beginners, but may as well show it if you really want to. Yep. This thing so that just saves the time. time. That just saves the time of having to run back and forth twice to activate the key block and then uh, jumping, doing the actual shell jump. This just does it all in one cycle. It saves, and I would guess maybe like seven seconds. That's just saves, that's... uh, four in-game seconds. Oh, dang, so the, it's roughly, not, like, not even that three fast. seconds. Yeah. All the keys for this are pretty much the same. You want to do, like, a full jump and scroll at the top. Yeah, so... It just Fairly. seems to be variable, because your, your mind starts to focus on when to capture the shell midair. You gotta focus on when to throw the shell consistently. It's it's difficult. Yeah, so don't don't worry about that. Unless you're going for world record, don't worry about that. Or sub dram. Yeah, or sub dram. Easy I think sub so dram. Sub yeah, easy sub dram. <laughs> All right, so then uh, back door or er, front door. I'm sorry. Too much ninety six. Uh, front door. Uh. The first door you're always going to want to go through is door 2, and then you have a choice between door 5 and 7. Door 5 is more consistent, but 7 is faster and more difficult. 7 is just not a good idea in this category, if you ask me. I would never go for 7. Yeah. So you can just do easy stuff here. Grab at the bottom of the cage. Get an 86. Yeah. Or if you want to, you can, can flip the cage around and go on the backside. This jump off the K 
cage, I think, is one frame. Maybe two. I'm pretty sure it's one. Yeah. If you jump I off miss it a lot on, runs. It's terrible. on the same frame that you hit uh, Y, you can keep going on the back side of the cage without having to wait for the cage's animation. It barely saves any time. I think it's like the frame after. Are you sure, TM? I'm Lambie and I talked about it before, and he said it was one, but it's really easy because it's like a rhythmic thing. So I've just always said one because Lambie said it was one. It's too easy to be one. Maybe you're just good at one frame jumps, TM. Maybe you just have Getting an Getting cape in jumps. door three is like one second faster than not. If you get a perfect <laughs> cape kill, is what I recall. Don't use the C word. <laughs> Don't say cape. Cake. OP OP. Cape. Cake. Oh my gosh. Cake feather. Good meme. <clears throat> I'm actually not sure how much time going on the front or back of the cage saves. Um, I think you know, if you go on the back of the cage and don't do the fast trap, I'm pretty sure it's slower than just going full right. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the cage the animation, animation is so slow. Slow. Dude, this is impossible now. It's gone. There it goes. Yeah, so yeah, don't, I wouldn't don't be surprised if this was one frame, because it's a really just like tap tap kind of thing. You could easily just get it rhythmically. Two at best, in my opinion. Dude, I can't even get it anymore. It's gone. What it's the gone. Hell? It's over. The rhythm is gone. I ain't got rhythm. Um. Yeah, I think that's really all there is. Take me out of here. Too. I was just trying to do it once, dude. Terrible. <laughs> you have to do it. It's required. All of a sudden. Here in door five, I just get a little bit close to the crusher, and right when it starts moving, I head left. Run back. If you want to, like, take it safe, you can just stand back here and hit your own cue. I'm pretty sure everyone has, like, a different cue for this. If you're standing yeah, away from it, I think you want to count three spikes on the crusher, and then run. Dark room, you want to box jump, full jump there. I hold jump a little bit after that guy. Not sure if that's actually a good idea or not. Use the tip of the third crusher. Yeah, everyone has a different position. Yeah, I've never used the third crusher. Yeah, I just do what Resi did. I just get close to the crusher and do a left right. I only recently learned that you're supposed to spin jump off of this Mecha Koopa here to get, uh, to not bonk more consistently. I didn't think it would matter, but Louie said it matters, so I don't know. Or maybe it was Dots. And one of them. Both of them are gods, so you gotta listen to Nice. That's why I don't bonk on the first block there, is because I've died in the run on this Koopa. I've so died to this quarter several. here is just bad. I've probably died. I've probably lost a run to each individual enemy in this room. Dude, on his first day of runs, C lost a run because the second ninja over here clipped inside of him. <laughs> he he lost like fifth, sub fifteen thirty on like his fifth run because of it. Dude, that sucks. It's epic. Yeah, yeah, so we're starting. It's really mostly whatever you want, as long as you keep B speed through the whole time. Yeah, to get past this cement block without bonking, so you just have to bounce off them early. Bad jump, in my opinion. Bad and, you know, like, like I said with C, if you do bonk here, you do not want to normal jump onto these ninjas because they are terrible enemies. And they might clip inside of you completely and actually just kill you. So do not jump onto the ninja. If anything, come sit over here, wait for them, and jump over them. Because they seem to be terrible and bad. Hitboxes and are fun. The source of all things unholy. Yep, I lost sub 17 to each one of those ninjas. <laughs> you can jump on them, Silver Star, but I've seen two people, three people, have the ninja clipped inside of them. So I don't know. Too Bowser fights. Bowser fights. Time. 
So Maestro Brow recently made a video of all the cues with everything. And it's probably better than me showing it. But I'll show what I usually do, and I'll go ahead and also link his video because it's way better. I, I What's can... five frames? The cage jump? There's no way. Grabbing Maestro's video. He doesn't have yes he does, never mind. This is like the best cave tutorial. Cobot. Dang, beat me to it. No cave tutorial. This is the strat I do. Maestro did something different in the video that looked a bit more sketchy to me. Like mine, if I miss it, I hit him late. It doesn't matter. But with Maestro's, if you miss it, the thing's gone forever. Like, not like yeah. that, but... Also, so my sure is if you miss it, you hit him too early. So I don't know. That seemed to work fine. Just yeah, whatever. you want to hit Bowser as soon as you possibly can, so that way he ends no, up no, no, in a no, good no. place, so that don't, way he doesn't end. You don't want to hit him as soon as you can, or else he'll throw this guy off screen. So my sure, I have a, I have the worst Bowser fight in the world, but Maestro apparently he has a cue for the second hit as well, where he stands over here. Once Bowser stops, he runs right and just throws it at the same spot every time. Which seems a heck of a lot better. And I should take some advice from this from this video. <laughs> Don't we all? What he does is stands behind this block, he says. And right when it stops, he runs right, then left. And he throws the Mecha Koopa on the third from the right block. So I assume he means, uh... So he means stand here, when Bowser stops here, you run right here, and then throw it right here. I believe. Watch it real quick. Yep, that's exactly what it was. I throw I throw the guy from here. Seemed early. Yeah, that was definitely early. That's a cool strap though. Yeah. You want to make sure that he doesn't throw the mega people off the screen. Like Rezzy said. Dude, now I'm terrible at everything. <laughs> it's gone. Okay, never mind. Don't listen to Rezzy. Never listen to me for anything ever. Even if you told everyone we're gonna get sub 15 in this tournament, <laughs> then we'll listen to you. Okay, so yeah, he did say we're slightly after he stops, so I guess that's a good idea. That's a neat ass strat, though. Lines it up for totally, yeah, Xander. <laughs> I left out some world record strats, but if you're interested, I can show them, and then you can get work. First try. No practice needed. Nope. I assume everyone here most likely knows Ball Skip. Maybe. But if you don't, I'll explain it. So basically, Ball Skip, if you just, uh, you want to throw the Mecha Koopa when Bowser stops right before he throws a second bowling ball, and that'll skip a phase so you can throw his Mecha Koopas. So when the ball's, uh, like right here on this tile, you want to do a full jump and throw the Mega Koopa at the top of your jump. You just bounce over it and you're fine. I throw that one straight up. Just skips the second bowling ball, so he throws Mecha Koopas, and then that will result in having one more Mecha Koopa for the third phase, allowing him to bounce five times, I believe, instead of eight. Eight or seven, I think it's eight. It's eight, yeah. He'll bounce five times instead. That'll save him time. So I recently lost, like, a 14.58 to this strat, so I don't know what my life is anymore. Terrible. 
the worst throw in the game. Yeah, so basically, just don't die in Bowser as well. <laughs> what I used to do is jump and throw it when Peach goes away, but apparently that's terrible because I missed it. I need something slower or something. Bad game. Slow, man. Bad game. I don't like the ones where you just throw it upwards. This seems too sketchy to me. I want suddenly you see in here. I want to either get it slowly or get the right strat. That that's just too slower. I'm not doing one where you don't jump. I don't trust those at all. I just, uh, as soon as I see, like, I wait, like, as soon as Peach goes down, then I do a full jump and take it. Seems to Alright, this is a good strat, in my opinion. When he's fully out of the car, or, like, just about, just jump and throw. This game's pretty nice. Fuck! I did, like, seven hours too early right there. I'd rather loot. Just take it this way. I'd rather. Five times we'll throw more Mecha Koopas and then. I'd rather die get the bounce good. skip slowly, than not get it at all like I did last night and lose the run. That was just terrible. I was so mad. <laughs> don't do that either. Don't get mad. It's supposed to be a fun. Well, I don't even know this strat either. I find this dumb. I don't know. I guess that's how you do it. There, you just jump into them and throw it. I find it too spooky. Well, I guess it's not that spooky. I usually kind of just jump on it from an angle and then do it. The last touch shouldn't matter too much. You just, well, you want to hit them high. You don't want to hit them like on the bottom of the screen or you're losing a couple seconds. Yeah, because then like, I have to do this. Up. I guess that was like halfway up. He'll like... have to like. You have to watch the animation of him, like, going up. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch him go up. And then save when do you jump, though, Silver Star? I just don't like this jump. It's so spooky. Especially if you're on sub-15 pace. You like, and you don't feel confident with it. You don't want to risk death on the very last hit. Yeah, if that doesn't Ass. work, you can just grab the other one and throw it up. <laughs> Ass the Koopa. <laughs> and it looks... The Koopa... Winds up with the green copper thing. Seems terrible. <laughs> that just kills me the way he's talking about it. So I don't yeah, know. that that doesn't sound. I mean, it I I, unsafe. I bet it works. Yeah, I bet it works, but I mean, you'd have to practice. I I still prefer my Rezzy's good old, just Rezzy good old fashioned. Do whatever the fuck feels good at the moment. <laughs> bounces once, I guess. It's super slow. That 25. I have to do the fast strat. You get worse. Sprint. Yeah, I can't even get it anymore. It's over. It's impossible. could lose up to two seconds on just the last hit. That's persuading me more to do this terrifying thing. What a terrifying strap. Stop being Talk. a baby. Baby rage. <laughs> scientific, scientific studies have shown that 0% is the number one cause of baby rage. Got him. And congratulations, you have beat your low percent, your yeah, world, low percent world record. Yep. Let's 
This is impossible. Alright, there you go. And uh, I actually gotta head off now, so thank you guys so much. And I encourage anyone who wants to join the tournament to join the tournament. Uh, Hell yeah. Yeah. Ding, uh, this is a good I'm trend. closing tournament entry on uh, Sunday the 13th. So definitely feel free to enter if you haven't already and you have some available time that will be sent over the weekend. Trust me, it's just, a lot of fun. Just a note, Definitely. we've got like three people in the tourney that are going to be gone for like the first week of the tourney. So you've got like a, a week and a half yeah, to learn the entire 15 minute category. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got all the time in the world to learn all of this. Yeah. But once again, thank you guys uh, for watching and uh, definitely just work on these strats for like maybe five minutes per, per strat and it's not terrible at all. Uh, a Sunday, also the devil and the chicken out. No, we're banning chicken again. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but then, you know, again, feel free. Uh, we're, we, at least half of the people, I'm guessing, in the tournament are learning it as we speak. So definitely just take, take like an hour to sit down and learn it. And it's no big deal. You'll have good runs in no time. Yeah. See you guys later. Have a good one. Bye forever, Xanthium. So you can be too far left for this. Alright, enough of me practicing things. Also, if you're curious, hold on one second. The cue I'm using here. Right when this dude is next to his eyeball is when I have been jumping. Jumping here, why Silver Star said, seems like a death wish to me. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Does anyone have questions? On any of these levels. Yo, nice. That does something in the video program. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I had no idea that it did that. Oh, God. It doesn't go away. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. It's over. <laughs> oh, God. That zooms it that way. <laughs> Yeah, I've broken my program. Shit. Can I do the whole thing again? I wasn't listening? Are you kidding me, Xander? Xander, this is the last time. Dude, how do we fix this? Get out of here. I've broken everything. Auto fit? No, that's not it. Close it completely and start over. Hey. Who knew there was hotkeys in my program? So yeah, watch the VOD. VODs are good. So no one's got questions? You got, you got nothing? Nuke it from space. Yes. So yeah, check out these last two points here. Find more on the SMW wiki at smwspeedruns.com or smwwiki.com, speedrunssmw.com. There's like seven links that I'll take you to it. It's pretty easy to find. Check out the SMW Discord that you're all probably in already. Discord.me slash smw. And that's about it. See if there's anyone we can go bother on Twitch. Let's see here.